Hi, um, I'm The Analysis, I'm Sanjay Rahman, and I just came to talk about a topic that has been quite close to my heart and what's actually quite regressive from the independent. Now, for my long-time viewers, you probably know that I always, I take several sources of information from my videos most of the time. These are The Conversation, The Independent, The, um, the Epoch Time, I take some from the BBC, and when I want a right-wing bias towards some information, I use the ABC, because that's the least right-wing bias um, news agency in Australia. But this this article, which was about Yasim, I actually I don't know what's the name, but I do yeah about Yas um, Ab, Abdel Magib, was quite regressive in his tone and his content. This is predominantly because about how the point which about the article talks about the point about racism and discrimination that migrant people and people of color face within. Australia. I will admit that that is quite true. As a person who is non-white in Australia, I recognize that quite a lot of time I will not be considered white or fully accepted. But this is something I have to well, accept or understand because even though this is in a perfect world, and secondly, I've immigrated to this country. No one's saying I should stay or anything, but that I've chosen to live in this country and I have accepted its values or like its intolerance and tolerance. Now the problem is I don't understand why people are saying that yes, why we should accept Yasin's controversy or like Yasin as a whole. This is a very regressive, very Sharia 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 law supporting women, and this is horrific in its sense. This is predominantly because Yasin supports Sharia law. She goes directly against the government line on quite a lot of issues and is very much against human rights complaints. Altogether, she's basically a, like a soft Sufi or soft Salafi Muslim extremist who is actually part of a Muslim of, uh, Islamic fundamentalist apologist. You cannot have that or you cannot support someone like that on the left or on the independent. And I do not understand why the independent actually considers her a uh, human being of note or a human being of good natured quality. Now, you want to know why I'm discussing this issue? Because the independent specifically brings up several of her awards she's won as the Queensland Person of the Year or as a person who is a great example of uh, color or like uh, integration and assimilation in Australia. Now, I will admit that, that quite a lot of people do integrate and assimilate into Australia. But a lot of the time, said people are not very thankful of what Aust the opportunities Australia gives them or the life they live in Australia. And I see this all the time in a lot of the non East Asian or like the non. Uh, and like, like the non Christian African people living in Australia. Yes, we understand we have discrimination. Yes, we understand that there's a lot of hurdles we have to face and a lot of barriers to a lot of the job we want to take up. But this is bad. I understand that the Anzac Day controversy was about how she went against Syria, Palestine, and the war itself. And I really accept that. I respect that quite a bit. But the fact that you can consider her a person of quality or note, and that she actually supports the Islamic laws that she should have been fleeing to. Well, I can understand why people say that no, you should go back to an Arab dictatorship if you support Islamic law. Yeah, I'll I'm sorry if I'm ranting, but this is one of the few times where I'm quite literally angry about how this um, story has come out. And thank you for all for listening.